Hi there and welcome to your Tuesday Thoughts video. Blowing out the old energy of the tarot. I'm going to do a tarot read for you. I'm going to try and get through this quickly. Today is the 5th of September 2023 and this is a reading for the collective you might say. Um, my hair is a bit all over the shop today um, because it's very warm and I just needed to take it off my neck. Um, sometimes I don't know those people with short hair but certainly people with longer hair it can almost feel like you're wearing a scarf when your hair is down and it just creates intense heat and it's hot enough already today it's beautiful weather uh, the greens are green the trees are just so lush right now and the sky is just clear blue beautiful beautiful day oh one dropped out already so uh, I read the tarot intuitively. I've only collected uh, two of my other decks and brought them to the table today um, because I don't want to get lost in the decks. I need to get through this quite quickly because it is almost five o'clock p.m. Um, and I have lots of other things to do. But I wanted to just say thank you for watching the videos. Um, lovely to see you back again. And for anybody who's new, who's joined us, thank you again for taking the time to um, listen to the videos and watch them through. It really helps. Uh, hopefully there'll be a message somewhere in here for you. That's the idea is that I connect uh, to the decks and read the information that they give us. And that can just point you in the right direction. So it's not for a particular sign. It's not for a particular life event. It is just uh, a message of assistance uh, to you as you move through your day. So as I said, I've only got three decks because I can get carried away and start reading from lots of different decks. Just let's see what this one says and let's see what this one says and um, get a little bit carried away. So sorry if you think I'm being a bit speedy. I am just sort of aware of time and I've got, I've got so many things in the background that I need to get done as well. So, um, but I didn't want to miss out on this. It might be posted a little bit later today, Tuesday. Um, because it takes me a while to record these things and then obviously watch them through to make sure they're okay and then upload them as well so okay we've got another one uh, so we'll just try and get a couple more cards and another one um, oops that's too many so we'll just keep shuffling until a couple of ones jump out at us um, hope you're all well uh, it's back to school time it is back to the routine that one's turned over but I don't know what it is yet um back to the routine and back to the oh fabulous okay I think I'll take that uh as I was saying back to the routine uh the school year can almost signal like a new year for many people so uh, often people will start courses or start going through going in a new direction um in september um and it's always the university start of year as well so um there is this element of things beginning around this time as well and we have the equinox as well which is the flipping energy so that is coming up i don't know if you've noticed but the evenings are getting darker the mornings are darker so we're kind of moving into that place where um maybe a little bit more internal work is uh encouraged um just in the darkness in the void as it were um we are encouraged maybe to, to get home earlier than we usually would in the summer and to be at home and to be inside and um just to use that you know setting of the sun that earlier setting of the sun as a signal to us to to rest recuperate um just gather our energy together again uh, for the months that are coming up to prepare ourselves for the months that are coming up don't know where that's coming from but there you go uh, underneath i have the seven of pentacles so the seven of pentacles can point to part-time work so you might be deciding to do a little bit of part-time work you might be working on something on the side as a sort of two incomes going uh, different streams of income it might point to uh, you also have the little hair here so um, that it can point to springtime easter time um, so you might be putting some money away till the the springtime till the easter time it can point to you having uh, worked on something a great deal and then deciding are you going to step out and, and um, go with this new idea, this new adventure, this new um, entrepreneurial adventure and uh, what, what are you going to go with? Are you going to stick to the tried and tested or are you going to venture out? Are you going to 
not gamble this this money but are you going to take this risk in starting something so this is like starting something new building something new but you're able to grow corn you're able to build it you've put in a lot of work already so you have a a level of knowledge that is that is there already um but it might mean some sort of part-time work coming into your life as well okay so that's the underlying element a little bit of uh, maybe doing something on the side so a lot of people have filler jobs on the side or bridging jobs before you step into your purpose you might have a job that you do um, while you're doing your magic work um, and that can point to that as well that it might be um, time to spend more time splitting yourself between the two uh, rather than giving all of your energy to one uh, corporation it might be time to take some of your time back and put it into something that you want to grow and build as well. So we have the first card, Nine of Pentacles, and you can see here, she has built and she has grown. And there are vines full of grapes, bunches of grapes here. So that shows the fruitfulness and the fertility and the, the absolute growth that she has achieved. She was able to create um, these vines which are laden with fruit so they're heavy with fruit uh, she's able to build something and grow something and watch it become something and you could say it's like watching it from the seed tending to the vine watching a blossom watching the fruit appear and then obviously you can take the fruit and eat the fruit so it's sustaining um, or make wine with it so you have a product so there's uh, she's creating and she is growing and she is sustaining herself. She's quite an independent woman. She's connected to the spirit. She's almost the huntress as well. She's got the hawk here. So that, um, you know, the hawk is, is a hunter. So going off and picking up food and bringing it back to the people, for example, the, the Bedouins in the... Um, uh, desert uh, would often do uh, falconry and so it's you know using the, the bird to to hunt getting that eagle eye view over your business as well and she has her castle in the background so she's she's independent she's self-sustaining she's able to work uh, it could be working alongside your study we mentioned about um, that this is a period of people go back to university September time but it might be that you want to keep working while you're at university so you want to use a little bit of your um, working skills uh, perhaps one day a week two days a week just to keep your hands in just to earn a little bit of income and just to give you that financial independence so it's this sense of financial independence uh, she's got the red shoes on here which is connecting to her ground which is the earth which is the money which is the foundation building a foundation of something so when you start to build a new business you you, you build a structure first you need uh, when building a house you need to put in the foundations first and you build from the bottom up and a, a good uh, boss is almost someone who has gone through all the different stages who has learned how to you know wash the dishes and then clean the cutlery and then you know serve uh, the the people in the restaurant and then move up and up to management etc it's good to have knowledge of all of the different areas and it's almost like she is farming here she's farming and then we have the bunny here as well so she's able to create and she's able to do the work and she's able to um the bunny is that uh, fertility of easter as well fertility of the spring so you put in the hard work maybe in the darker months you know get your head down really put in the hours so that things start to blossom in next spring so have ideas going about business about earnings about your um independence and your ability to um be that financially independent uh, person doesn't have to be a lady but person um, and it's about the joy of that there's a lot of nature here so there's a lot of joy in connecting with nature in working with nature working with the natural world um, to sustain life as well um, and that that's very important here with the red shoes as well connection to to nature and to earth and you can take that a step further connection to the earth energy so the earth energy is abundant energy and if you can connect to that and bring that into your life then you bring that into everything that you're working on okay so for our next card we have the king of swords 
So the King of Swords can be someone who is a little bit cutting, a little bit cold, a little bit manipulative. So be aware of someone in your life who's going to come in and has that uh, energy. There's also an energy of connection to the higher realms through intellect, through intelligence, through the mind. So he, he's got the sword which is pointing directly up to the spirit. So it's downloading ideas as well. You can see he's dressed here and he's got lots of butterflies around him. So lots of butterflies which point to transformation. So there's a period of transformation where you're going to have to take these ideas and bring them into the ground. Uh, we've got the grounding here, the red cushion, and he's got the purple shoes, which is your crown. So he's taking all the information from above in through the crown and placing it on the earth. Again, placing it on the earth to grow it. Um, there is this thing about us being on the planet and that we are here to um, fulfill our purpose, etc., etc. But it's our experiences here on the earth that we need to be aware that we're carving out, we're creating, we're taking part in this earth life. So this higher consciousness, this soul that we're bringing through wants to have the earth as the playground. So this is a sense as well of drawing all of that through the mind, through the higher chakras and bringing it down. Um, very good at communication, very good at organization, very good at planning. So needing all of that to, to bring these ideas into the earth and into fruition. Be careful of someone who can um, over talk or who can um, control your you in some way with with speaking. Um, be careful of words that are, are manipulative or um, just someone who's you know a colder, so unemotional, so unable to connect with you perhaps emotionally, keeping your relationship or your connection really of the mind. Um, just to be aware that somebody might just be connecting with you mind to mind as opposed to heart to heart um, because of an interest that might link you. Um, so just be aware that it might be much more of mind uh, connection as opposed to heart and anything love related, let's say. And of, but of course, this can transform because we have the uh, butterflies, but also that's the air element. That's the 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 lighter, the uh, thinker, uh, philosophizer. Um, it could be somebody in the legal industry as well. This could be justice being served as well. It's a little bit like the justice card. Um, so it could be a legal aspect coming in. So legal documents, um, signing things. Be careful how you speak. Be careful what you're listening to. So all of this head area is coming into focus here. And I need to remain grounded while this goes on. Okay. And next we have... Did I say judgment card or justice card? I can't remember. Short term memory. Oh my God, it's two seconds ago. Um, so here we have the judgment card. So calling on judgment. And this means a crossroads in your life. You can see this incredible cross here. And it's just pointing to you are at a crossroads. You are at this position where you're going to go one way or the other. But this would say that you are going to be reborn. There is a rebirth occurring. There is a new adventure occurring for you. You can see this family are coming out of these boxes, which symbolize the coffins, the death. And then this is the resurrection. So it is you um, probably having, you know, things in your life and they have ended, but life doesn't end. And so through their ending, you are being reborn, you are becoming a new, you are um, appearing refreshed in your life, you are given a different perspective, you have all that wisdom that you've gathered and now it's time to sound the new you, it's time to sort of wake up and hear the music, like what is it telling you? Look at this avenue that you're in, you're in this crossroads, pay attention to it, judge it but not with judging eyes, but judge, how shall we say, what it means to you. This is you making your judgment on your situation. So 
look at your situation and see where it is that you need to shift it, where it is that you need to move it. They are joyful. They're also reaching up to the angels. So ask for angelic help. Draw the angels to you. Bring them forward to you. They're here to help. And that, that's coming from the higher. That's coming from where he's pointing to. It's coming from the heavens. So this, this sounding, this uh, trumpet of new life is sounding so it's important for you to, to throw off the covers of your old life and allow yourself to come out and to be refreshed and renewed. The one I didn't see before because it hadn't shifted over is... Ooh, Eight of Cups. So Eight of Cups is walking away. Eight of Cups is you have something emotional going on and you are needing to walk away. So uh, something is missing, uh, something has dropped out of a relationship or a life situation and it is not fulfilling anymore. It is, it has left a gap for you. There's something empty about it and you are having to turn around and walk away from it. And the cups are all about emotions and love. So it could be uh, to do with uh, a love relationship or something that opens your heart but also it's an emotional time. So it's telling you that emotions are gonna come up for you like the river here, allow it to flow, allow the tears to come. They're very healthy to release tears. It's, it's a great thing because you have toxins in your body that you actually uh, allow to come out of your body through tears. So having a little cry now and again is fine, it's okay, it's rejuvenating. You don't even have to be sad. It's just a healthy thing to do. So, you know, just because someone cries doesn't mean that they're um, terribly upset. It's, a, it's almost a realignment of, of themselves. They're shifting something within in order to balance out their energy, to balance out their chakras. And one way to do that is to shed some tears and then you're shedding uh, and changing chemically your constituent um, parts, your constituent chemicals, uh, what, what, what goes on inside you and you're detoxing, you're releasing, there's something releasing and shedding tears, there's something in letting go in shedding tears. So allow yourself moments where if, if, if you feel that you want to have a cry, have a cry. Very healing, incredibly healing and sometimes if I am working on someone and doing a healing, they can sort of, after the session, just sit up and something I say or just the, as the wave of energy moves through them, they, they'll cry and they don't know why. They go, I'm not sure why I'm crying. I don't know where this is coming from. And I'm telling them it's a, it's a movement of the energy is bring it up so you can bring it out, so you can release it, so you can let it go. And this is a letting go and it might not be easy you know he's walking back up the hill it's challenging this is quite a challenge and you've got the other mountain to climb here so it's not easy but it is important that you understand at this period there is a walking away there is a moving away from something that was emotionally unfulfilling okay and then we have the Ace of Pentacles. So the Ace of Pentacles is a gift of money. It's like a win. It's like um, some way getting money. I mean, you've not worked for it. It's a big amount of money. You know, it's something that you can do something with. This is coming in. Money is being gifted. The hand of God is providing you with this, this money. And yes, the Pentacles are also work. So there might be a need to do the work. There might be a need to make, maybe you're, you're going to use this money for this new business, which is the underlying energy. And then you're going to work at it and grow and tend to it. But it is money that's showing up for you so you can move through this new doorway. There is a new doorway opening up for you and it is abundant. It is not one of lack. It is not one of poverty. There is money here. You might have to take some action. You might have to do some form of work um, to move through this uh, doorway and to carry on on this path, forward momentum. 
but it is there is a reward here there is your just rewards are coming your just rewards are being offered um and i would just say that that's probably uh the, the energy of the month as well the month of september is an energy of growth of building and of achieving a certain amount of money which will allow you to then uh, step forward and build this new business that you're wanting to build with all of everything that you've learned everything that is, has um, come through your path you're taking all of that you're taking all of your wisdom you're taking everything that you've built before and you're going to create this new thing and this is coming in so you can do that and you can see that it's in the countryside and there's a lot of blossoms here. So it might be something that you create in a natural environment in the countryside um, and that you can earn a potential uh, income from as well. So there's income coming back to you. So just because you're not in the city doesn't mean that you won't achieve a good, st um, a good uh, stable income. Um, there is money here and blossoming. It's it's growing and blossoming. Um, so there shouldn't be any issues with that. So learn to receive the money. Learn to say yes to money. Um, and maybe do the lottery. It is signaling that there's a substantial amount of money coming in. So that's the tarot. 21, 11. Great. I'm just going to do now from the Priestess, Priestess of Light Oracle. One moment. So I've got them now. I'll just knock out the old energy and give them a little bit of a shuffle. These are usually spot on with regards to clarification cards. Um, just to give us a little inkling of what the tarot means. Um, there's quite a lot going on there. Um, it can be the King of Swords as well, can represent Archangel Michael, and I need to cut the ties to the old. So there is a need possibly to cut the ties to what you have been working on um, in order to transform into this new thing. Um, and it could be, you know, collaboration. You could be working with people. All of a sudden, um, some people might come on board that want to work with you, that want to set up um, events or... Um, different uh, companies or different just kind of um, I'm seeing like events like retreats like day retreats and you know these not workshops but days that you might work with somebody on a one-to-one -one. maybe it's for me maybe it's that kind of um, thing that's coming up but um, let's see what the priestess of light will tell us and we have maybe two cards just for clarification on this energy and what's happening um, and it can be as well that back to back to school back to work kind of things so everybody's had a bit of a holiday everyone's you know had a nice summer um, and there is that summer feel where different people take holidays over the, the period over June July August and then it's time to knuckle down and, you know, get on with the work again. And But maybe it is about taking up this new interest. Maybe it is about, I'm going to take that one. Maybe it is about taking up this new interest. Maybe it is about um, adding something into your life. You know, all these little courses that you can do just to expand your mind. And um, there's so many now that just, there's no reason why you can't self-improve. And lots are online. Um, and, and, but person to person is always wonderful as well if you can do that um, I will be returning to Donegal uh, next week so if you would like to work with me um, over that week to get in touch uh, my email is karen at karentony.co.uk and it would be lovely to hear from you okay so we've got two and if you've been watching you know that I don't know these um, by heart the meanings so I'll be doing a little bit reading from the book that's the book there um, and do share this with your friends if you think it's resonating or if you think that you know they could do with hearing this or that points to something that they're going through you know feel free to share it with people so wow a few of the words that I've used already today um, so that is the go with the flow. 
and you have the river in the background or in the foreground here and you have the river on the side here so that's the tears that's the letting go and she's actually covering her heart so let's say there's a level of protection here um, and heart healing so when you let go you often have to do some healing on the heart and it says letting go cleansing and receiving so we talked about letting go um, and that Archangel Michael comes in and cuts the cord so you can let go um, and then there's emotional healing which has to happen and a cleansing and a receiving and being able like we said with the ace of pentacles get into the mindset of being able to receive the money allowing the money in so let's see what that says 25 2 and 5 is 7 7 is a very interesting spiritual number as well so a moment. Okay, uh, go with the flow. So it says the priestess of the waterfall. Let me hold it up for you. The priestess of the waterfall rises from the foam, holding the mist of the water spirits close to her heart. She wears a golden spiral of infinity on her headdress, symbolizing the power of purification and the release of negativity. My hand won't stay still. When this card appears in your spread, it announces a time of quiet energy, encouraging you to release resistance and go with the flow. True release requires a conscious intention to let go of control and embrace the cleansing energy of non-attachment. It's time to take a step back and reevaluate things. Take a break from trying to force your will and open your heart to the guidance of the spirit flowing within and around you. This doesn't mean you should take no action, and we said that. It means your action should flow with your intuition. Water is an important element in your life experience. It brings clarity and understanding and represents the presence of spirit. You are a body of water, as is this blue planet of ours. On that level, you resonate with Earth and every entity on it. So charge the water you drink with love and affirm spirit's presence in the rain, in the shower and in the water all around you. This cleansing intention purifies your energy and releases limitation and negativity. Such a clear and vibrant resonance then opens your life to the unlimited flow of abundance available to you. Let go and receive, for the river of endless opportunity is coming your way. And the affirmation is, I move comfortably through the experiences of my life. I release resistance and align myself with the joyous energy flowing freely through the world. That's lovely. Excuse me. If you're on Facebook, you'll have seen that I've posted a, a video of music, uh, a singer that I've just come across today. And her, the piece of music that I've posted, which is just beautiful, and that will move you to tears. Um, it did me. Uh, so that's one to listen to. And it is about the intelligence of the water. It is about connecting to the water. It's about listening to the water hearing what the water has to say. And if you're following Pam Gregory, you'll understand that the water is becoming more and more important and a, a topic of interest. And it is, the water is changing and how we look at water and how we understand water is changing. So that's very interesting as well. The next one is, which is actually five, uh, which is five is all about change. And it's called clarity. And it says planning, releasing, illusion. So perhaps this could be to do with the business or whatever you're stepping into or even at this crossroads, you're going to have to gain some clarity in how you're going to step forward, how you're going to reach for this new opportunity that comes and releasing the illusion, letting go of what's not real. So number five. So, um, planning, releasing, illusion. The eagle, the eagle priestess heralds a time of productivity and clarity 
for you. This card is telling you to sharpen your focus on your own goals right now. You have a vision. Now make your plans and set them in motion. Again, the action. Think of how the eagle's lofty perspective allows it to see far off prey and adjusts its action, anticipating changes before they arise. Real plans, not just fantasies, are called for. So get clear about your goals and what it will take to achieve them. And that's it. We can have lofty ideas, but unless we draw everything back and make a, an actual plan with some steps, it, we can't move forward into achieving those goals. So, like I say to many people, even baby steps, you know, a little by little. And then as you step forward, what is around you has changed and how you are has changed. And so you might need to renegotiate some of the bits. Uh, and this newfound clarity requires you to release any present or past illusions you've been holding on to. So that's cutting the cords of Michael again. These may be false assumptions about situations or people in your environment. So be honest with yourself about others' intentions and about your own plans and their potential outcomes. And it is that too. It's the clarity and the seeing past the illusion because they can look away and you can imagine it a certain way. But you have to really think about what are their motives? Why do people want me to, to do this or do that? How does it benefit others? Is it a truth? Is it my imagination that, you know, everything is positive and full of goodwill? Um, so, so there's a need to get real. Illusions can sometimes encompass deeper aspects of yourself. Even if you think you no longer carry old hurts or misinformation, you may be subtly influenced by fears and limitations you've unwittingly accepted as truth. The eagle calls you to look deep within and reclaim your inner strength. As you do so, your true power becomes more clearly directed and your creativity starts to take shape. The vibrant golden colour surrounding the eagle signifies greater mental activity and brightness of mind. Great value is coming into your life. Don't be surprised to find a time before you opening up with new ideas accuracy, inspiration and even prosperity. It's time to get clear about who you are and what you want and how you're going to get there. This card is telling you to plan, prepare and prosper. The affirmation is I release illusion and confusion. I think clearly, focus on my plans and let my life shine. And here you have again it is the inspiration, it is the mind, the head, it is the intelligence, it is the information that's dropping down to you. The new ideas and inspiration and then even prosperity. So how are you going to do it? Plan, prepare and prosper. Plan how you're going to do it. Prepare yourself in whatever way you need to, in your environment, in your mind, with your emotions and then prosper, receive, allow yourself to receive. Very nice. So I'm just gonna uh, have a quick look now before we finish, I'm flying through today, so this is really good, um, with the uh, Lenormand, Lenormand uh, deck, it's a tiny little deck. So um, I'm just gonna maybe take two from this. Uh, so I hope that makes sense to you. I hope it's given you some guidance and clarity. Um, everything is baby steps, so one step at a time. And don't worry, you won't get it all done. Uh, you'll never get it all done. But what you can do is move towards. What you do is uh, work out what needs to be done now, what needs to be done today, and do your best to do it. And if you don't get it done, don't, you know, don't crucify yourself. For not doing it. So we've got the fish and I'll take one more card for the energy of the week. Well I feel it might be the energy of the month but we'll just say the energy for the week and we have one more card for the group that are watching. And thank you for all your energy as well. Everyone who watches contributes to the energy so it's like a group, a group energy um, and that really really helps as well. It's nice to know. Oops there we go. Next one is Anchors Away. So, 
Uh, again, we've got a seven and an eight. So eight is fortune as well. It's the, um, in Chinese uh, culture, eight is a very good money number. So the fish is 34. And let's see. Oh, finances, welfare, rewards, abundance, generosity. So we have been signaled quite a few times about prosperity, about wealth, about abundance, about our rewards coming in. It's a symbol of fulfilled hopes, successful completion of affairs or honours and awards beyond expectation. So this is really good. This is really positive. So whatever vibration you're in, keep it high. You're receiving back finally. You've done all this work and now it's coming good. This positive card signals excellent health combined with prosperity and domestic bliss. This card means fate is smiling on you. You have found your way. Expect gifts, money, good trade, deals and successful projects. It can point to you being self-confident. You know your own worth finally. You know the value of who you are. And you might want to have an active life with some travel as well. You see the way this fish is flying through the air. So it's movement as well. And flight, taking flight. You might be going somewhere, traveling. It indicates uh, in a relationship that you would have strong feelings for somebody and good compatibility. It's a good and a development of a business venture beneficial outcomes for all so it's not just you you can help so many and good investments with profits uh, with well-being it signifies rest and recreation near water again the water is coming in so spend time in water uh, get close to water even if it's a shower you know just uh, enjoy the water but if you can get near water, do spend some time near water, enjoy water. And it is that restful as well, that inner, that slowing down as we move through autumn into winter. So just uh, allow yourself to reset. But this is great. So let's see what the anchor has to say. And is that going to um, uh, support what we've just learned with the, the fish? So the anchor, oh, amazing. The anchor is constancy, security, reliability, and stability. So it's a symbol of well-being and stability after a difficult time. So, you know, like the boat goes out to the, uh, in the ocean and the sea, the, can't speak, the sea is rocky and stormy and you have to put the anchor down for stability and to hold you in one place while everything is going crazy you've got this anchor you've got this connection to the earth and that's keeping you safe and secure it indicates the realization of your goals due to the loyalty and consistency of the people involved it's a quiet harbor or a sanctuary among those in your closest circle so it's those you can trust those you can go to those you want to spend time with it's having a really nice inner circle. We have many levels of people that we meet through all our different uh, life experiences and many levels of friendships as well within those experiences. And we have core people, our anchor people that we feel safe with and that we come back to time and time again. Expect success in business matters. Um, Be careful about being tied to a job, about being a bit of a workaholic, because this can make you sort of feel like you're, you're, you're tied to something and you can't get away because the anchor is stuck. So just be wary of that aspect. Um, it represents a loyal partner, you know, someone who's reliable, so someone who's not going anywhere. And um, stable feelings and extreme devotion. So that's beautiful solid foundation again the anchor going into the earth keeping your foundation solid it indicates a, a stable business with good material base so again there's there's money coming in through business 
effective decision making, improving the possibility of achieving plans. And we were told to make plans. And this is telling us that we are moving towards achieving those plans. That is what is happening. The income is reliable. In issues of well-being, it's um, your health is stable. So again, the stability, this anchored. If there is any illness going on, um, there's a way to resolve it. So it's, it's saying it's not too serious. Um, there is a way to help. So those are the cards for today. And I have to say, I am super pleased with that read. I think that is just fabulous. I'm very excited about what's coming up for the week. I am open to all this good news coming in and all these new ideas and all these new plans. And I hope I have the time to, to manage it all. Um, but I hope it works for you. This isn't too long. This is only 40 minutes now. Um, so usually I go up to an hour, but I'm going to cut it short here because I think that's all you need to know. And uh, Get down, get your plans together, get clarity, Cut away the old, step in and be reborn, be renewed and allow the rewards to come. They're here for you now. So open your body language, open your energy to receive uh, the good stuff. It's here. It's here. The final two cards. There's plenty, plenty of good news there. So thank you very much. Take care of yourselves and enjoy the week. And uh, let me know if any good news comes in. I'd love to hear if it matched with the cards. And um, if you need to find me, uh, the information's below. Please watch the other videos as well. To see if that gives you um, some more information that might be beneficial. I've got a couple of um, meditations on the site as well on the YouTube channel. Um, so feel free to use those. But if you want to get in touch with me, you can just email Karen at karentinney.co.uk with questions or anything and I'm going to leave that there have a wonderful wonderful week and I hope I'm mm, no I'm not going to be able to see you next Tuesday so this is a two-week read in fact it might be a three-week read well that might be why because I'll be indisposed like with different things on the following two Tuesdays um, so I'm guessing that's why it was a September read why it's a monthly read so see how you go. Let me know. And I wish you uh, nothing but the best. And yeah, I hope, I hope it's all good news for you for the rest of the week. So take care of yourselves and uh, blessings for now. All the best. Bye bye.